right hello everybody so it's on with the puppy journal okay i've um cut the pages down and i've popped a few things in just to give me a bit of you know something going on so this is all that i've done okay Oops. so I'd, or i've made just that out of coffee stain paper just a pocket it's nice and thin that one and that's some coffee stains there, some of the digital pages. That's going to be a bit of a layout there, and that's going to be a pocket. That's just an envelope. And those, let's cut down. This is some like gessoed pages that has been previously done. I think I'd done these last year when I was doing the Gothic journal. I recognize the ink. <laughs> When everything looked like I'd actually done away with someone. <laughs> it was, yeah, horrendous. Uh, there's just a book page there, tickets. So I just thought that would look nice there, especially with this bit poking through the edges there. That's what I like to see. Um, that little po um, pocket fits nicely on that piece of paper there. There's a little pocket here. Um, that's the book page again. And that's the other side, not a poppy, but it's nice and red, so we don't have to be everything poppy. <laughs> and that's the centre of the six signature. Um, yeah, this this journal, I've cut it down a bit, really, I, and it was already coffee stained for a larger journal. So I've actually cut it down to fit my cover because, you know, I've already done like the the free machine in cover of a poppy so i had to cut it down a bit and if this was already pre-done i would normally put my percentage down or shrink the kit a little bit to compensate for that but i didn't because this is already all done so i'm going to utilize what was there so that was there that was the tag i done i don't think there's anything here no that was a tag i done the other day yeah, not done anything there. That's that's literally all I've done. Uh, that's going to be. I don't know what that's going to be. Maybe a pocket. I don't know. But I've put that there because I thought I quite like that. <laughs> uh, picture. It's not very big at the moment, but it gets fatter. Oh, and there's a. I've done a, a tree steer, three tier pocket. I haven't sewn it together. I've done that with the envelope punch. I thought that looked quite nice a change and that's the middle one so it's gonna go that's the top one i was just getting rid of some of the book pages i had lying around and it's going to be sort of like that and i'm going to stitch that one in and that's going to be a three-tier pocket there so that's that And that's the other side of that and that's another pocket there this needs tea staining so i shall do that to now inside or we can cover it i might cover that actually i'll leave that alone Oop, do that the other way and that's just a bit of tracing paper embossed this is where it begins i'm going to what i've got around me now is i've got the kit all cut up okay i've got some napkins i've got some sort of like piece just pieces of paper this is i mean this is bits actually left over from the steampunk that i never put away but there's all oh this this paper pad i've got that i've had for a while i i would use some of this maybe so, and that's lovely, isn't it? Who was this again? Tim Coffrey. Yeah. That's beautiful. So, I'm going to get one of those out. And I'm going to get one of those out. That's the two I would use. <laughs> and then all the rest of the kit is in here. Okay. All cut up. Ready. 
and waiting to be used. Oh, I've got that as well that I've done for something else, never used it. So I'm going to use that in here. Do something with it. And I've got bits of embellishments as well. Doilies, oh, you know, normal things. And then I've got in here, I've got the bits of paper and some tickets I've cut up ready. And like, sort of, I just went through a few things. I mean, some of these stamps will go nicely with that. And then in the bottom of this tray, I've got, which all those could go in there, all little embellishments and things and book pages and tickets and things like that that I might probably use some of that. I'm going to have one of those out and one of those out for toppers. There's some little ones that I've shrunk down. So I have some of those out. Some little tickets here. Quite like that three. Oh, and I like that as well. Hmm. Might use that. Yeah. I think I cut, I usually print the kit out twice. Sometimes I'll one full size and then one half size. So I get some little embellishments like this. So that's where we're going. Right, I'm just getting a few bits out that's giving me inspiration at the moment. Okay. And these sort of things I put in as well because you need to, um, like the colours. Mushroom's quite nice. Right, okay. Oh, yes, that'll work. And some of them work. So that's where I begin. Oh, I like that one as well. That come from one of the kits. <laughs> oh, there's tickets too. So once you start looking, you're surprised enough that, oh, I haven't really got much to do with poppies, but, you know, we can... Make it, if you know what I mean, out of what we've got. And I think sometimes that's what pushes us and that's, that's what I enjoy anyway. So um, I've got, I did um, cut out one of the, flower, the poppies from one of the journaling cards. Okay, and what I'm going to do here is I'm actually going to clear this, All right? Now, I'm not going to look at it as a whole. I want to look at it as pieces. So, yeah, I might use that. Okay, and I've got a couple of book pages. I've got these that are hanging around, so I'm going to collage those. I've got some... I've got that tonight, and I've also got look, this was all bits hanging around as well. That's tag, that's tag. So I'm going to incorporate those. I don't know why I put that there, but I've got doilies. Um, sort of, I don't know, book pages that go in my book pages at the side of me. And then I've got this that were, was in the bottom of my, when I was tidying it up, and I'd already tied it up, and this was what I found when I went through it again. So I'm going to incorporate some of this and then make it into a poppy. That's just, that's quite nice. That's beautiful, that picture there. So, And these odd book pages, <laughs> Tom Jones. I think that's a bit raunchy, so I've got to cover that up. <laughs> yeah, so that's all i got. Okay, and I thought I'd limit myself. And we will do something from that. A bit of brown paper here. It's a bit of brown glassine paper. And these are my bits and pieces that I've got. I thought... We can do something with. I'm going to start off with my favourite shape, <laughs> which is that one. 
Okay, now shall we just be easy and do that? Oh, it has to go the other way, I think. Um, it's going to fit on there. Now that, now, that is really simple, isn't it? That way. But I'm quite liking that. I'm going to do that. Because I am. Oh, let me go and get my glue stick. <laughs> right, I'm going to ink up that edge. Because that's going to be on the outside. Might be cut off, so these are the glue sticks I like. Q Connect, I'll get them off Amazon. I mean, we all have our own preferences, okay? You've just got to, you know, find one that you like. Some like the, the Pritt stick. This one, I'm not keen on that. I find it goes if you look at this now. If I use that, it's quite usually it's cloggy. It's, it's, I just don't like it. It's good, but there's other there's loads of other makes. But like I say, I found this one and liked it, so I'm sticking with that one for now. Because I'm not a great lover of glue sticks at all. Because I just I actually I don't mind other glue on my hands, but this just I don't like it for some reason. Right, that's going on the top. This is going down, so hopefully that's enough. And then the two is glue this side. Yeah, that's it. Ooh, a little bit short, aren't we? That's okay. What, sh what I'm going to do is come up to this top here and I'll cut a bit off the bottom. So that's fine. Oh, see already. I think because I'm a mucky worker, if you know what I mean, it, it seems to get everywhere for me. And while this one's drying, I'll do the other ones. Yeah, he uses that off making tags or no, no particular size. 
it just gets it's a bit like doing a collage sheet or a mood board you know it gets me in the mood for the transition between what i've done previously to now so it does help me considerably I'll throw that away. <laughs> right now I've got some diddy ones. So let's get these bits out that I mentioned. Let's have some of that there. Okay, that colour there is looking nice with that. Yep. I want a tall tag for that though. Right. So I'm going to keep that one together because I am going to use that together. That looks quite nice. Okay, and I've got some bits for here. Straight lines. Okay. Glue book, really, didn't I? The glue on. I right, got me glue book. Okay, which is brilliant. I can't remember who came up with the idea. I don't know whether it was Gail or Roxy Creations. I actually can't remember, but one of them did. <laughs> um. Yep. I think that goes nice with that. Oh, that's. Yeah, it has to go on that one. So. Okay, this is going to go over. So, I'll ink that edge up. Just got to remember to use this. But. <laughs> so, that first. Cut that edge there. green because that's going really nicely yeah it is perfect match so right let's get 
bit more of that paper, I think. And then that can go... I don't no, it's got to go that way. Okay. I'm going to do that. So instead of doing a mood board, I'm doing mood tags. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I've missed you all, by the way. <laughs> uh, losing, I was losing my sanity there for a bit. <laughs> Definitely. <laughs> I actually didn't think there was going to be an end to it all. Mind you, that looks really nice as it is. <laughs> Why am I spoiling it? <laughs> oh, well, hold on. That's okay. We'll do it that way. <laughs> yes, so we're using a digi kit, but we're making it look different and we're making our own by doing this, you see. You can even cut up the tags. <laughs> I've done that before. I do do that. That's, yeah, that's great. Right, so I've got some more. So um, I've got some more bits of paper. So do you know what? I'm just going to carry on. I'm not going to worry about um, doing the side bits. I can do trim all that after. I've got another file folder. Oh, let's do one of those because they're the bits that we end up with. So they can be quite fun. And then we'll make them into a tag or something. Right, let's have a book page. Um, are we going to... Let's go get that way. I don't know why, but... Is that going to go... I might as well get rid of that bit there that's hanging around. Right, okay. That's the wrong way. We can do that. Okay, yeah, I'm liking that. I'm um, we'll do another one similar. I might be able to just get use that bit there. I should put that over, I think, because that's quite a nice edge on there.
it's all just toppers so let's put all that in a pile okay Yeah, I've forgotten about the book <laughs> That's what happens with me. Start off with really good intentions and then forget and get just, you know, in the groove, as they, as they say. Yeah, I was just disturbed there. I was still trying to sort my husband's mother-in-law uh, nebulizer out because, um, oh, we've had the merry-go-round, if you know what I mean. The parent, well, she can come home today. I, well, I'm hopefully, I've seen the doctor this morning, but she couldn't breathe this morning and they had her on a nebulizer. Anyway, her nebulizer is not working correctly. So the hospital, we've inquired about a new nebulizer and they've said that she um, has to go through a GP to get a new one, which is fine. So we've gone through the system, gone through the GP, all that sort of thing. And now they're saying that they don't prescribe them. The hospital does. So <laughs> we don't know. We really don't know where we are. I want some more of that green paper. That's all right. Yep. So I liked those. Mind you, that's quite nice too. That might work. I'm going to get one of those out. Oh. Must have had these, gosh, 10, 15 years. Bought them on QVC years and years ago. A job lot. 
Yeah, I'm going to go that way. So we ink up this edge here. Yeah, so I don't know. So he's going to ring the hospital again now and see what's happening. Yeah, hers, hers isn't man enough, you see. And the trouble is, like we said to the doctor, if you, I mean, she's not sent home with a proper one, then she'll be back in the hospital again in a couple of days. So, um, it's a bit short, isn't it? So I'm going to cover the whole thing. Now I'm gluing on here now. <laughs> Cut that top off, I think. Some packing ones to do, I think. Oops. Right, getting down now, there's a bit of that. Um, some of that left actually. And might cut off the top there. Yeah.
Okay, they're all dry and um, I've grouped a few bits of, together. This is only just the first layer, okay, which I thought some of these are looking, you know, that is quite nice with a bit of lace on or something. So this is like a real quick way of doing it. These, um, I actually quite like the way they are, those ones. So and that I thought looked quite nice together. And then it's a matter of putting them all together. I've got a left a few. And I thought that could be a pocket one there with a tag, with that little tag going inside there, because that sort of matches, really. So what shall I do? Right, let's have a look. And it's that one here. I'm quite liking that, that the way it is, but um, well, let's do the top first. Sometimes I'll leave them square. And sometimes not. It really depends on what I feel like <laughs> on that day. There's no rhyme or reason to what I do. I can't explain it. I'm actually quite liking the way that is. I thought I'd do something with a light circle or something. And let's have a look, see what we got. What we could. a little bit that. Mm, it's a bit big. Um, no. I'm going to leave that like that, okay? And then I'd most probably put a little embellishment. I mean, this is sort of, you can see all the cogs on that one. So if we put something in the middle there, that would be okay. I'm going to leave that as it is. I'll just pin them together. I might change my mind on that. Who knows? Who knows? Um, so I've got another one like this, which is quite handy. Um, I'm just wondering whether the Greek go opposites. Could look quite nice. And that. Um, some more of the vellum. It's not vellum, it's just um, tracing paper. And that dulls that background down. Right, okay. Let's do that. Okay. I don't know what I'm looking for. I've got a little, um, oh, there. Cut them in my creek cut, so sometimes they can look quite nice, like sticking out the side. I sometimes take pictures of these because sometimes when I come to put them together, I've totally forgotten.
and I'm going to do that one. And then the rest will do off camera. So this one. This in cup. I will be stitching around mine. Okay, then we can put lace on later on. Okay, that one needs stitching, so I'll put that into my stitch pile. Okay, so I'll do all the stitching together.
I'll tag on this one, I think. And I'm going to, this one lends itself to some words, definitely. So I will go ahead and stick all the others down and then let you see them when, before I go to the next part. Stitching, you know, and, and I'll ask what I'll do. I'll put them all together, stitch what I've got to stitch, and then we'll decorate even more with words and things like that. So, yeah. Okay, I've stitched all around them. Um, I did start a couple. I just put some grommets in a couple. Uh, that's just like that. I think that's fine as it is. I'm not going to put anything in the top for now. <clears throat> I might do just to take a picture of them. But because I'm not sure where they're going to go in the journal. To what sort of, whether I want green or red in the top. Or we go from there. But that's just got a grommet in that one there. And that's a different shape tag. That one I don't think actually needs anything either. That one, I've just put that on the top and a word down there. This one, I haven't done anything to yet. That's a little pocket there. And I might add a bit of lace to that one. And that was there. Should we add a bit of lace to that one? <laughs> just, I think, yeah, that one's okay. That one needs something. And I think that one's okay. Yep. Maybe a little word on that one. And that one's there. This is my favourite because I just love this poppy. It's beautiful. And it cuts out really well. Okay. All right. Let's have a look. I've got to find some lace now. I will put a grommet in this one, actually as well I don't put grommets in all of them because again it adds it adds bulk so
Okay, and I can stitch over that once that's dry. Yeah. Okay, wait for that to dry and then I'll restitch those bits. Another tag in there as well. Do you know what? I'm just going to put the grommet on this one. They turned out so nice, didn't need to add much to them. <laughs> I don't think. There we go. All right, I'll go and stitch the others and come back and then put them all together and show you. Right, okay, I stitched the bits of lace around and then I put that little butterfly there with a few gems. I've got um, these hearts, so I'm utilising them. They were in my card making days, so I thought I would utilise and get rid of those. Ooh, got a nice brown one there, so it's quite a nice colour, that one. Right, okay, so now we are going to, I'm going to do the stuff at the top, I might as well, because I'm going to um, take photographs. I did do another one, didn't I, stitched, put some lace on, there it is. Okay, that's that, so I'm going to sort out which ones, no, that's alright, that's okay, that can have some stuff on. So can these so we go. That one's got some on, and there's that one. Right, okay. Which dangles? I thought I done this one the other. Um, this what these the other day, okay. And I just paint it with black gesso. Then I put um, either gilding wax or rub and buff. That's that one, and the gilding wax. Should be here somewhere. Is the Pebio one? There we go. Is that one? Okay, that's um, Renaissance gold. But they, I, I got all three. I got the gold, silver, and that one. Or is it a bronze? Yeah, I can't remember. Anyway, I've got three. I think they do loads of other colours, but so that was those. Yeah, so I painted a black gesso. And then I'll just rub that over. And it's quite good when you get bits of embossing, you know, on the back, as you do. Um, it picks up on that, so it gives it a nice sort of, um, you know, textured look on the back. Okay. And then just put a little dangle on there. And then this is going to go, I think I'm, yeah, I'm going to do that.
was it that one? Oh no, I was gonna put that. I thought on that one. Sorry. Silly me. I quite like that black in that going with there. Yeah, I'll link the video on those because it was um pretty good. It was just old collage sheets sheets that I'd um cut out die cuts and then heat embossed. Yeah, I think it'll look better on there. Sometimes my hands just don't work. <laughs> I think it's a it's an age thing, isn't it? Your dexterity, de oh, you know what I mean. <laughs> Your movement <laughs> doesn't it doesn't sort of I don't know coincide with your brain or something like that. It just doesn't work so well. It's weird. Right, um, I want a bit, I want a bit of that and a bit of this. To be honest, but this is a little bit too clean. Just I said I haven't got much on this one. Okay, so little, just do a bit. There we go. That's. We have a bit of green in that one. Got to be careful; it don't become too Christmas looking, you know. So I wouldn't use any red lace or any black lace. I'm going to go through. If I use, I'm not going. to see how much lace i'm going to use i don't know um but i use cream cream and whitish because some of these are quite light in the background so that's what i will do because i think the color the color of the kit the kit is quite quite intense quite bright so you don't need to use bright things with it well that's me some people do and it looks absolutely fantastic and i love it do you know what i mean it's it's just how it you know how it looks to you i suppose maybe i'm not quite brave enough <laughs> okay um i think there's quite a lot of red on there i'm gonna just use this on this one actually maybe two lots and then tie it with a bit of string i think
Okay, that's that one. Again, I think I'm just going to have a couple of strands of this. I'm going to keep quite delicate with this one. these two as well so let's see what we got this is just a bit of chenille wool it comes in very handy when you um don't want too much you just want to add a bit of color so i wasn't going to do this till i'd done the book but i thought well i can change them around if need be i've done that before <laughs> Oh, I want that bit there, <laughs> but that tag looks better there. <laughs> oh. It's a little bit fiddly because I haven't got very much left. But. Here we go. All right. They are done, which to be honest, they don't take that very that long. All right, now you've got a whole new set of tags. Poppy tag. I, I, I doubt if I use all these. <laughs> but I might send them with it <laughs> with the journal. <laughs> okay, let's have a recap. Okay. That's that one. That one. Loving that bit of paper. That paper and powder. It's just a really nice green. One there. I hope I'm in frame. Yeah. And that. There's the tall skinny ones with bits that were left over from cutting the other tags. Then they're, yeah, it's file folder. Yeah. That one there. And there the dangle. There the dangle. And that one there. that one there we go so i hope you enjoyed that and we shall see you soon
Okay, thank you very much, everybody, for watching. And take care. Stay safe. Bye-bye.